Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of this round of 32 clash between Niagara and his Wood Elves and Ivan Colin and his Orcs. Game 1 was a 1-1 draw, which was uh, very, very interesting. Both offences failed. Uh, Niagara chose to receive and Dakar and got turned over and scored on. And despite that, Ivan Colin chose to receive in the rain, which is very dangerous versus Wood Elves. Ivan Colin is Spanish, qualified through NBB. Niagara is Swedish and qualified through BBT, uh, Blood Bowl Tactics Big Crunch Playoff. So yeah, all to play for, we've got a pretty standard Orc team, 4 guard, Mighty Blow Tackle, no troll, I, I prefer no troll, especially versus Elves. Um, Niagara's gone a bit wild, he's taken the usual roster, but he has swapped out a Wrestle, Lineman and whatever normal skill he would have got on the Dancer to upgrade this to a Mighty Blow, which definitely paid off for him in Game 1 as he cast three uh, biggin or guard biggins. He cast three of them in the second half, or uh, in the first half, so like, you know, he worked out well, <laughs> the Mighty Blow. So, hard to argue against it. It's definitely paid off first, but yeah, I'm, I don't agree with receiving in the rain, I think. Kicking is completely valid versus these Wood Elves, especially what they showed him in the first game of Dakaring that failed. So I'd be a little bit more confident. Instant Kaz. Blitzing with Mighty Blow, of course. Keeping the tackle in case of, like, you know, danger. A dancer being his backfield or whatever. Like, there are times when it's critical to knock somebody over, isn't it? But mostly, mostly the Mighty Blow's better because... If he'd, if he'd knocked that dodge guy over and hadn't removed him, so what, right? He has to do the rush. Especially in the rain, you have to do the rush. You have to get the ball in your hand versus elves. But yeah, it's interesting, because Ivan Colin was really under the cosh on offense. And uh, really, really applied a lot of pressure to Niagara's Daka. So if I was Ivan Colin, the way that the first game gone, I would have kicked. Yeah, he's learned from the first game. He's, he is, and they played back to back. They actually played these two games back to back. So yeah, he learned his lesson, made riskier LOS blocks, but managed to uh, stick a lineman on the tree. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Blockless block. No AV break. The good thing about the tree, though, is that it does kind of force somebody down one side, doesn't it? You can't just occupy the centre versus a tree. But because this guy didn't get knocked over, he can make a bit of a push down the side. Dangerous that this big one could get blitzed in, but it's really hard to hit him, actually, isn't it? Errata. Errata, that. Mighty Bone wrestles really good. The problem is if he gets the 1 in 9 here, he'll have to re-roll it. Because otherwise that would be a wide open cage. So yeah, that, actually now that he's picked up the ball, it's probably better for him that's in the rain, right? Because it means if the, if the elves get the ball loose, it's harder for them to pick it up. Tax Steve yeah, as the Discord if anybody wants to uh, follow all of the things. Cheeky removal. Was it because of Mighty Blow? It was. Mighty Blow made the AV break, which then became a KO. I mean, Mighty Blow is really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. It seems kind of stupid because, you know, it's like just dumb luck. But it's removing players is the main way to win games of Blood Bowl. It's the, especially like in these kind of games where like everybody's good, right? Like it's even more important to just make removals. Like even if Niagara thinks he's if Niagara thinks he's better than Ivan Colin, if he actually is better than Ivan Colin, um, it's not by much, right? It's not by much. So. So the way, the main way you win these games is is by removals ultimately. 
you've got to be a hell of a player to play five games and only make one casualty and get through, that's all I can say. <laughs> Does end up with a big un isolated on the tree here, which is a pretty much fine trade for Niagara. He's, ha he's happy with that one less guard to deal with. Just a push. <laughs> I mean, yes, but how good, Christopher B, do you have to be to win all your games without hurting anybody? Some might say you're fantastic if you can do that. <laughs> wow. Well done, my lads. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, more like draw modes. Yeah, two wins and three draws. But still, it's good enough, isn't it? Good enough. Quite far forward here. This is good. Isn't it? Turn four is already this far. He wants to go as central as he can now. Right, he's past the tree. He wants to open up the field as much as possible. Centre. Centre with the tree behind him. Tackle blitz probably should have been a mighty blow bit, right? Get get removals now. But he's very in contact here, isn't he? Maybe there's something maybe there's something clever for Niagara. Doesn't look like there is. <laughs> he's just gonna scream. I was gonna just leap in. Leap in one D, no strip, but Gets the pal. 50-50 for the knockdown, right? Follows. So he's in very much danger of getting the dancer surfed. So the good thing about having the sideline-ish cage is like surfing the dancer if he if he pops it. Fails the dodge in. And I mean you have to. You could actually double surf here, right? You can surf, the problem is the catcher, yeah. The, pro the problem here is, right, I I think I would have gone, I, I, would have, I would have played this really risky. I would have played this, yeah, the ball on the sidelines really, I would have played this really risky. And I would have, I would have chained the catcher there. And I know it's risky. I know it's risky, but I would have done it. And then I would have uh, tried to, yeah, triple surf, yeah. At least, like, you'd have your players to react to the scatter. Maybe it's wrong, right? I'm, I'm not saying it's right. I'm definitely not saying it's right. But I think I would have done it. Oh, wow, dub skulls. So he's just taken the double serve. Which is fair. Like, this is probably correct. This is probably correct. Ah, uh, yeah, no, Mighty Blood does do more, can't he? Oh, my God, he's used two rerolls trying to get this serve. And didn't even... <laughs> Didn't even get it. Oh dear. Wow. That was a disaster, wasn't it? That was an absolute disaster for Ivan Colin. And now he has to rush. No, he doesn't. Oh, wow. Maybe he had to rush. Yep. This this is why <laughs> he had to rush. And okay, that's actually a great scatter for Ivan Collins in lots of tackle zones. This is very risky from Niagara. He's he's got pretty lucky to have escaped with you know, this dancer's gonna get surfed. <laughs> the other dancer could have been surfed, but he's got he's got players around the ball like yeah, okay, you're going to surf this dancer, but how are you going to do with all these? Well, punch them. <laughs> it's turn six. Niagara's going really, yeah. I feel like Niagara has gone too high risk, high reward. I feel like he's taken too high risk, but 
so far it's uh, it's paying off. Probably use the scatter. Maybe you want them. Maybe you don't. Like I think I would have done. At least I was honest, right? I think I, think I would have done the wrong play last turn. I think it probably was the wrong the wrong play to uh, go for the triple serve. But um, I think I done for it. But it could have ended in disaster scatter. So. Nope. So yeah, mighty blow there. Pick up. Passes. He's made. He's made every pickup he's made so far. But now we've got the strip ball. Is active, so he's gonna definitely come in for the three plus leap one dice. And gets the power, and this opens it up, which is lovely. And there we go. Uh, it's not a three plus because it's raining. It's a four plus. He gets the pick up. Doesn't make the handoff. I like the handoff there to just get completely free in a way. But um, instead he double rushes. And I mean he's still pretty far away, isn't he? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ivan Colin. <laughs> there was some spite in that surf, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Because he knows that this is almost over now. He gets the knockdown here. He's got to re-roll this. Gets in the way. The problem with Woody's is that he got nerfed, but everyone kept putting him in tier 2 because people are like, well, I want Wood else to be the best team. <laughs> you know. Hello, Calcium, by the way. Uh, that, like, that's the thing, right? Tabletop is, uh, you know, they're, they're not exactly the most open to change people in the world, are they? You know, like, it's fair enough, right? You know, you enjoyed playing something for years. You're not going to want that to change. So, Tabletop is all like, let's keep Wood Elves number one, you know, let's the, the, up, the, up the amount of money everybody got because the cost of everything increased. Oh my god, instant one. Gets the push. What about the wrestler? Could the wrestler? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, the wrestler would have been an extra rush. And now this way the wrestler can tag the tackler. Yeah, he tags him. Just get into range first. And then tag this guy. Could make the extra rush, yeah, yeah, I like that, I like the extra rush. So, because he still had his re-roll, then you do the extra rush, because it's just a little bit better, isn't it? So, no re-rolls for Ivan Colin. Do you dodge to make it a 2D? I just, or just 1D, just 1D with this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rush. Maybe a 3, 2... Four. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Because now it stops in the five, yeah, so this makes it a five. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Yeah, I think you've just got to do a 1D. Three, two, four to stop the score. Not easy, is it? Not easy. Yeah, you can't have a 3 2 2. But yeah, so he just. Oh, he blocks and dub skulls. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, bangs it in on turn 8. Niagara looking heavily favoured now, starting with the ball. 1 0 up. But he only has 9 elves? Well, 8 elves. And a tree. So maybe not that favoured, actually. But he is. It means he's one up with the ball. Which means now the Orcs have to press the issue. And then the problem is, when they do that, you know, they're movement five. And the Elves are like movement eight without a two plus. We're going for an Elliot Daka this time. We had the uh, LOS Daka, and now we've got the Elliot Daka. Nine is definitely enough, yeah. Nine is definitely enough. 
the thing about the quick so the thing the DACA, what's great about the DACA is now he can fail the pickup, right? Now he's got now he's got a, a pickup fail in him, maybe even two. Yeah, pretty unlucky that he got to surf the whole team multiple occasions. I mean he he didn't get to surf as much as he could have, but it was risky to scat the ball there. <laughs> Let's not be mean, Calcium. Let's not be mean. Uh, with it being the rain, I uh, I like the darker, honestly. Just because it gives you that extra chance to pick it up. I, I don't use re-rolls. I just want to get it picked up without a re-roll. He did put in the re-roll. But I would have I liked no re-roll in the first one, and then re-roll the second one. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I like not rerolling it. Yeah, the tree on the tackle is actually amazing, isn't it? That Maybe that's why I went for the Elliot Daka this time, because, yeah, the tree on the tackle is great. I mean, you can just dodge it off next turn, can't you? But... Long line of orcs. Gets the dodge off. But didn't rush. So now the tree can just base the tackle the next turn again. First thing he does. Thank you very much. Now definitely put in the re-roll here. So you know, it did take him the fourth dice roll to pick it up. So if I mean he could he should have absolutely screened off like this before he attempted that. Just quietly. And it wouldn't have been a complete disaster if he had screened completely and then failed to pick up. So this was a, a very, a very poor turn there. Like this had to be the formation before the pick, before the dice roll, right? But understandable because you know I've played these games. It's absolutely not even nerve racking. It's nerve shredding. <laughs> it's absolutely horrific playing these games. So completely understand the. Uh, the hash of that that he made it <laughs> i'm not i'm not being mean it was uh you know that was that was just i mean it was just absolutely incorrect it was absolutely incorrect. yeah yeah they really are and i mean these 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 games are as big as it gets aren't they the biggest games of blood ball ever played in fact it's absolutely fair to say these are the biggest games of Blood Bowl ever played. Is he going to jump just to please Keat? I quite like the three. The th I quite like the uh, catcher dodge through and then the wrestle jump over. He doesn't go for that. I quite like the... Uh, Quite like this catcher, could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the wrestler could have just three, two, over. Quite like that. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Thank you very much, Andy Devo. Flip me. I can't believe it. <laughs> the round of 16 is Jim versus Devo. Unbelievable. Um, congratulations, Andy. <laughs> I can't lie. I was, I was hoping... <laughs> I, I was hoping to get a... A slightly easier game versus Truk. I think I think it would have been slightly easier, but you know, there's no easy games, right? It's still been really hard. Um, but I think I think Devo is one of the hardest games there is. But you know, I think Devo should think that Jim's one of the hardest games there is too. So neither of us very happy about this round of sixteen draw, I would imagine. <laughs> I don't think either of us are particularly happy, but there you go. Um, the good thing is, the good thing is, as far as the uh, casting goes, there'll only be one of us playing, that's for sure. Let me 
This is a little bit dodgy here for Nyaga, but... <laughs> Very good, Elk Meme. Oh, didn't get the knockdown. Can't really re-roll, but it's good getting tackle on the dodge player. Ooh. That was... That wasn't a great hit, was it? Because... Even if he powered him, it was a dodge off tackle, and then through, then he's going to go through this gate dodge. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god! Right, so <laughs> he did the dodge, and he did use the reroll. No, he didn't. I don't know what happened. He's only got one reroll, so he couldn't. So the tackle, the tackle worked. Yes, calcium. Yes, exactly. It's it's like it's like what's it called? Um, the cable guy, isn't it? <laughs> the cable guy. It's a shame that we're playing. It's a shame that we've got to play it before the before the quarterfinals. Because if we were if we were both in, playing each other in Montpellier, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? But. Uh, Oh my god, he's got no players left. Can he hold out for the 1-0? The classic corner cage. Really nice formation, isn't it? Really nice formation. Now he's got a double dodge to get in. Oh, except it's turn 15, so he doesn't. Gets the knockdown. Oh, timeout. Yeah. Mm -mm. And here we go. Everything. Facing everything. That was a bit of a risky block, because the push was pretty bad. But it's a removal. Maybe he should have moved some safe moves first. Maybe foul this dancer as well. Doesn't foul the dancer. Get the big and squashed in. This is tricky, isn't it? This is tricky. Pass it to the tree is the play. Tackles on the ball. Wait, you just did nothing? He just stood up a player and just said, screw it, Nuffle take the wheel. <laughs> Gets the serve. Yeah, and I mean, now it's going to go down here, which is terrible because it's an instant pickup to win. Or it goes down there, which is the best for Niagara. Oh my god, into there, it can go further. No, it comes back. Into here. And then back over there. And out again. And it can go up this way. Oh my god, it does. It's out of range. Ah. Oh my god. Well, Nuffle decided all right. <laughs> That's honestly that's always possible, right? So maybe what Ivan Colin should have done would have been to have put this player seven squares, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe that uh, he should have had this blitzer like should have been there or something, so for more chance of catching it if it went like seven squares. Really, really really nitpicky, but that that would have probably been better, right, to have a player there so that on a 1 in 18 chance he gets a chance to catch it, but yeah, that was brutal, wasn't it? That was absolutely brutal. Uh, there was a real good chance of it coming in this way, in which case he can just 3 plus, well, 4 plus to score. 
or this way, and then he basically four puts to score. And even back here, which was like the worst skate, this was the worst scatter initially. It would have still been like a pick up and a handoff, right, if it didn't go into the crowd. But yeah, the danger was it going along the sideline, then into the crowd, and then getting further over that way or further over this way. So really, really horrendous scatter for Ivan Colin. And with the first game being a draw, that means that Niaga is through to the round of 16, where he will face Sergal. Um, Sergal incredibly beaten KFOG, so that's probably good news for Niaga. But um, Niaga has, you know, Wood Elves who've already been dispatched by Sergal, so not such an easy game for him. And that's well, our lineup is nearly complete for the round of 16. We've got Winteros and Zahu who have a tiebreaker match right now. Um, well, not right now, 20 minutes. And then Bright versus Andri will be playing their second game tomorrow. So I'll do the replay of that before their game tomorrow, which you know could be decisive the second game. And then if they have to play a third game, that will also be on Sunday. So there you go, incredible stuff. Congratulations, Niagara. Commiserations, Ivan Cohen. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.